CYC is a free channel that presents the Word of God for everyone. Your support will help us to continue the mission. Visit our website, cycnow.com. Even a dollar will make a difference. Today we are with a very special visitor that comes almost all the time, so I can't call him a new visitor. Welcome Mark. Yes, so Mark, today is quite an important and something you're not very good at issue. Commitment. Do you know what that means? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Organised. Okay, can you give me an example of you committing yourself? Um, going to school on time. Going to school on time. I want to study, but this game is so addictive. I mean, Messi and Ronaldo are playing. What better? Don't you ever get tempted into not getting committed in a way? Um, yes, I sometimes do, but my mum always has forces me. So, tell me ways how you've committed yourself. I always go on school on time. School on time? Yes, any other examples? That's not my fault, mum. Um, I always, um, I always tidy stuff. They're always, my yes. stuff are always tidy. What, another one? That's quite hard to believe. Do you go to Sunday school? Oh, every yes, Sunday? I'm always, I'm always there. Always I'm on always time. There. Have you never ever wanted to go to Starbucks or buy like I've a Big Mac? Always wanted. There's no Big Mac During Starbucks. Sunday school and you're like, we're well, only 10 minutes late. I mean, so bad about being 10 minutes late. Have you never felt like doing that? Well, if you always wanted to go to McDonald's, but mum won't let me. Mum won't let me. So are you telling me that commitment is actually something that you are forced to do? No, commitment is what I want to do. So you're not committing yourself to going to Sunday school. You're forced to go to Sunday school. No, I am committing. Because when you go to Sunday school, you're learning about something. So Mark, tell me, what happens if you do not commit yourself to do something? Um, well, you miss half of the stuff, don't you? You miss the most important bit, like, if you go to school 10 minutes late, you don't know what to do, do you? The teacher's going to tell you, oh, you're late, I'm not going to, I'm not going to repeat this lesson, you just have to do the work. What about committing yourself to other things, like committing yourself to playing a sport? Well, committing yourself to playing a sport is really something different because it's actually quite easy to do because you're playing a sport. It's, um, committing yourself to do a sport is really easy because, um, it's like you're playing a game in your spare time. This is a weird thing. Commitment does not mean you do something in your spare time, does it? Because if you only do something in your spare time, you're not committed to it. You're just doing it for wait, fun. Wait, you're in your spare it's time. Like, it's like when you play football, Mark. I mean, spare time, you never you commit yourself to like football. In your spare time, you don't organise your bed. You're like, look at my muscles, they're epic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so I mean, you play football in spare time. Does that mean you're committed to football? No. no I know you're rubbish at football, but let's try and leave that bit away. I'm good at goalies. Good at goalies? Yeah, that's what you said the last 20 times when I scored a goal. Against penalties and okay, so penalties. can you name any people in this world who have been committed to something and got it? I've been committed to go to KFC on time. No, p other people in this world. Oh yeah, my friend really wanted to, really to go on WH Smith on time to buy to because they were they were selling um, these sandwiches half price, half price. And it was in the reduced area. Um, he wanted to get there on time so he could buy them first. who have tried so hard to get something and they've got it at the end of the day. Yes. Do you know any I examples? Um, Famous people. Um, yes, uh, Janice, Jessica Ennis. She's been training, she's been committed to sport and she's won a gold medal. Could you tell me any temptations that Jessica Ennis could have got, you know, oh my god, I'm Je so hungry, I want to eat a big... Jessica Ellis always needs to go on a 
she always needs to stay fit. So you could see when she's watching TV for a bit of entertainment, she sees those Alan X. Uh, she sees those um, adverts that um, that tempts her to buy really fatty stuff. Like um, if you want to buy chicken and you really like chicken, like um, you know Richard. He really likes chicken wings. Yeah, Richard Hammond, he really likes chicken. But but if you if Richard Hammond was Jessica Ennix, I mean how would he tempt himself to not eat any fatty stuff and to just stay on a diet with fruits and water? So tell me, what do you have to do to commit yourself? Um you always have to stay organized. Always don't get tempted. What else do you have to do to commit yourself? Um, you have to be, you have to be, if you're a runner, you have to be fit. You, you have to not get on your diet. You have, yeah, you have to always stay on your diet and never eat something fatty. And if you have money, save it up and spend on something good, but don't get tempted to buy something really bad because you need to get organised and, and buy something good, but it's really hard to buy when, when you're tempted like, oh Big Mac, I'm really going to buy it, I'm going to stuff it in my face. Now I think commitment means you stay with something, so well, when you commit to yourself, you always have to make sure you don't get tempted like you said. Okay, thank you Mark for this amazing day and thank you all for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>